In this podcast episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you intelligent views. First, let's start by creating traditional or normal views. And I'm going to use this button here to create a view. We'll call it Start. And let's create another view by changing some things. Let's change the viewport background color. Let's select some components and move them. And we'll save that as end. And you know that a view is capturing everything. Positions, property changes, camera locations, everything is being captured. Now if I want to create a view, but only capture the camera position, or maybe only capture the color of the background, or anything in between, this is where we can use intelligent views. What I would like to do is not have an end view that has an orange background and a zoomed in camera. What I would like is I would like the position of these bolts but I would also I would like to have the starting camera position and the background as it is here in the start. So what I can do here is by going into the view pane, I can decide exactly what to include or what to not include when I create my intelligent view. So what I want to do is I want to capture the camera and I would like to capture the properties of the viewport, such as its color. And when I create that view, you'll see here that I have a different icon to show that it's an intelligent view. And I can give it a name like camera plus viewport. Now if we go to our view called end and I apply this intelligent view, what it's going to do is apply the camera and the viewport color to the view. So that's an intelligent view, just capturing what I've told it to do and applying it to whatever view that I'm applying that intelligent view on top of. Now there's another thing we can do with views that's very interesting is I can take this intelligent view and I can drag and drop it on top of this end view. And what's going to happen is it's going to take all of the properties of the end view and it's going to apply whatever properties I'm dragging on top of it and merge these two views together. So now what you see is I have my end view and it's, it's captured and added and merged all the properties of the view on top of it and now I have the desired result. There's my start, there's my end, and the bolts are moving out, and I'm having no camera rotation or mo movement and getting the end result that I wanted.